Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am getting ready with you using some of my spring favorites uh, or May favorites, it's mostly spring favorites. And uh, I am also showing you items that I'm not using today but I've been loving. So if you wanna see what I used and what I've been loving, please keep on watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can also follow me on Instagram. Without any further ado, Let's get started. Ooh, aren't we looking pasty? <laughs> it's so smoky outside, the sky is really weird, like it's kind of a beige color. So to prep my skin, I use the vitamin C serum from All Natural Advice. I got this on Amazon and I read great reviews about this serum. So I was really curious because it's like 20 bucks or I can't even remember. I will Put the, the price here and I have a link actually uh, but I will I have a link uh, that I'm gonna put down below it's quite exciting actually I just become an affiliate with Amazon if you're interested you can just click on the link and if you end up buying the product I'll touch a little commission but it will be a very small commission to start with because I'm small baby youtuber but that's quite exciting so i i love amazon like i've been buying a lot of stuff so i might do a 10 best items from amazon video let me know if it's something you're interested in but anyway that serum is very nice like honestly it contains double the amount uh, of product like compared to drunk elephant and look how it's clear it doesn't oxidize to be safe i keep it in its box and it comes with a pump too if you prefer i like the, the dropper but it's certified organic and yeah you get 60 ml it has 20 percent vitamin c hyaluronic acid and vitamin e so super hydrating and my skin feels very nice so i applied this like maybe 15 minutes ago and it's totally absorbed i know usually i go right away with my my cream on top of it but I find like my skin looks very nice I haven't talked about it before because I really wanted to test it out but I really enjoy it for cream I'm gonna use the Tatcha the dewy skin cream I've been really really enjoying this cream the packaging first of all well you have that little uh, scoop here that you can take from the top and you can scoop out the cream super cool packaging but on top of that the product is great and i find it looks it looks really nice under makeup so i'm just gonna use a tiny bit of that for eye cream my favorite eye cream of the month is the kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado i've been really really enjoying this cream it has a nice consistency looks good under concealer really really like that Something I've been loving is the uh, Cover FX Dewy Skin Primer. But now I use the Tatcha Dewy Cream today, so I'm not going to use it, but I've been really, really enjoying this product. Um, this is the blue one, but I feel like this is hydrated enough and I don't want to be too shiny because we're going to use a lot of cream products today. So uh, I'm using the Bare Minerals. Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick in the shade Ginger number six. And I've been using this like nobody's business. Like, oh, and Bare Minerals. I've been rediscovering that brand actually. I love the bronzers. I want to try the highlighters because I, I heard it's great. But look at that, like two swips and looks so good cancels the redness gives you a even skin tone love and i usually i dab with this is a sonia kashuk foundation brush i dab on the stick with it and then i just yeah apply it i don't apply it straight away on my skin i found it's not my favorite way to use it mm, it just glides on the skin it looks like skin i really love that foundation I love that little combo. It's the Becca Anti Fatigue Under Eye Primer, and I combine it with a Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. So these two guys. This smooths your under eye area, 
so nicely. It has a bit of a cooling effect, but it's just very nice to just smooth little um, lines, fine lines you can have there. And then I just put a bit of my CC corrector, just shoot dab, don't need too much. And it's really, really brightening the under eyes. And now I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Complice Concealer in the shade Light 20. I've been really, really enjoying this concealer. The packaging is super sleek. And on top of that, it has beautiful coverage. Beautiful. You don't want to use too much because this is very concentrated. So I just go with my finger and just, it brightens so much. It has a great coverage. Put that in my light to light. Put it here where I have little veins actually. Okay, and wherever I have a little pimple. And then I want to brighten right here, get the center of the nose, just to sculpt a little bit, and around my nose because I get a bit of red here. To set, uh, you don't necessarily need to set too much. I'm just gonna set the under eye area. The Becca, the under eye brightening powder, is really nice. I've been using this one quite a bit but i've been really really enjoying the once again another mark jacobs product uh, a complice powder in the shade 50 ingenue so nice so i showed this before on my channel but you open this and then you have the brush included in the packaging and you have a very nice mirror so it's nice for touch-ups too if you're on the go it sets your makeup but without looking cakey at all. That's what I really like about that product. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals bronzer. It's actually, I think, my favorite bronzer of the month. And this is the Endless Summer Bronzer in the shade Warmth. And I haven't seen the other one, but this is how this one looks like. And I've been using it a lot, actually. So we're gonna go for that one. I really like the Natasha Denona uh, tan palette as well. It blends very easily and it really warms up your face like quickly. And it doesn't look powdery at all on the skin. It almost has like a blurring effect. But I'm, I'll be curious to try the other one actually. Maybe it's a cooler tone. So look at the forehead. Sorry guys, I hope the light is not too bluish or white because if I turn off my ring light, let me know actually down below. I'm gonna turn it off. This is how it looks. Maybe it's better. It's just the sky is so yellowish today that it's kind of weird light, but maybe it's way better. I'm gonna keep going like that. Natural light, no ring light. And let me know down below what was the best. See how I'm feeling it's so uneven right now, the light. But it's maybe more true to color. These actually, I got a full package of this on Amazon as well. And I love, love them. Like this is like my leopard one. I really like like scrunchies, like I'm so glad they're back in trend. Like right now my hair is a bit short to do a nice ponytail, but just even like just to um, do a little chignon quickly. They are so cute and they were so cheap. I'm gonna show you the little package I got and I will uh, once again, I have a link, I think, hopefully, uh, that I'll be able to put in the little comment, uh, the, inf the info down below. But look, I get 12 scrunchies here. I have like a, a gray one, like a, a gray leopard one. Uh, you have like a more reptile. You have like a mix of reptile and leopard. Look at these, they're so cute. I love to put my hair in a bun to go to sleep because otherwise if I have like a little sweaty neck, 
I end up with my curls uh, around the neck. So cute, so cute. So you get 12 pieces and for so cheap, it's a great deal. Oof. Okay, you know what, my camera is about to overheat. So I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows off camera. My favorite product of the month for eyebrows is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. I have the shade taupe and I love using like that side in particular. Like it gives you nice, very natural brows. And then if you want to fill in a bit more of a color, you have the other side here. And uh, yeah, really love that product. So I'm going to do that off camera. Uh, I'm gonna start prime my eyebrows with uh, Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer that I've been enjoying a lot. Forgot about this product for a few months and now I'm back to it. And I'll set it with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This I was not talking much about it because I haven't seen it in store for such a long time and now it's back so I'm really happy. So I'm gonna do that very quickly and I'll be right back in a second for you. Okay, see, super natural, feathery, not bulky, boxy in the center. I love it. Love, love it. You know what? My lips are so chapped. So I'm going to use a fresh sugar lemon hydrating lip balm. I've been really enjoying all of them. I love the caramel. I might think it's my favorite, but the sugar lemon is really nice too. I still haven't tried the peach one. I bought it, but it's going to be a backup. But this feels so nice on the lips. Mm. And it tastes like key lime pie. So Guerlain recently launched some sticks, like stick foundations, highlighting sticks. And I bought three actually. I bought the Terracotta Skin Universal Blush Highlighting Stick. So this is a highlighting stick, but I literally use it as a blush and I've been Loving this. This has been competing with the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light ones. It's, it's so good. Very nice and it has a lovely scent. It's not overwhelming at all, but for some reason it reminds me of my childhood. So it must be a flower. I should do my research and let you guys know, but it's so lovely. And I have also, I bought two highlighting sticks, but today I'm going to use the nude one. The other one is gold, comes in that packaging. Uh, it will be great for summer and they are so, so good, guys. This is how it looks like. I'm gonna use a blush first and I go with my fingers. Go like that and this is the color. And I just do, take two fingers. And I'm gonna dab it onto my cheek. That's maybe why like the Shell Tilbury Glowgasm didn't work so well for me now because I'm so used to uh, cream products and how natural it looks that yeah, maybe I've become difficult but yeah I'm gonna return that palette guys the Glowgasm palette I love the Glowgasms like the little ones I have all the colors I'm obsessed but this it smells like jasmine um, but look at that, it's so pretty and your skin looks so fresh and glowy. Ooh, just love that. And you can build up the intensity if you want more pink, but whatever is left on my fingers, I'm gonna add here on top of my lip balm for now. And I've been loving the highlighter too. So I'm gonna put the shade Nude today. And I'll just take my index and I've been loving like highlighting sticks like I love the Chanel ones uh, there is like a translucent and there is another one called sculpting I believe I have it here I can show it to you uh, YSL has uh, very nice ones as well but here I'm gonna put a little bit here just to highlight and then in the center there and whatever is left on my fingers, not anymore. I'm just dab 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 
on my forehead and a little bit my chin and the ears why not so if you have your hair up I'm gonna turn on the light quickly just to see if it's looking different Yeah, so it looks way more blue with the light on, that's crazy, but just so you can see how glowy I look. Ah, that's actually much better, I think. What do you think? Yeah, I love that. I have dry skin and for me to look like that, to look glowy like that, and within the day it looks even better. So I'm really obsessed. Okay, for my eyes, well, on days I don't want to do too much, I've been using this little guy so much. That is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Rose Gold. I believe it's part of her Glowgasm uh, recent launch. Hopefully it's not limited edition because I also noticed that Sephora doesn't sell anymore the Glowgasm palette online. <laughs> Just realized that yesterday. But this I've been using so much. So what I like to do, I like to use a bit of my bronzer, whatever I have on hand, or if I have a little palette. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury palette that I used in my previous video. Uh, but what I like to do if I'm on the go, honestly, is just uh, I put a little bit of bronzer in my crease. Just to give a little bit of a dimension of dimension and tie everything together. You know, you can use a, uh, your powder blush too, lower lash line, maybe a tiny bit more. And then of course you can leave it like that, but this I, like if we go out or something like that and I don't have much time because it's a last minute decision, I'm just gonna put that on my eyelids. And this is the color rose gold. I have a gold one too, all over the lid. So you can do one layer and it looks like your skin but better. Or you can build up the intensity if you want something a bit more beaming. It looks kind of wet, that wet look. I'm just gonna build up a tiny bit of intensity in the center. So you can see, but it, oh. And it feels very nice on the eyes, it doesn't crease. Okay, and it looks like you didn't try too hard, you know? Love that. I just use the Milk Makeup Long Wear Gel Eyeliners. I love their eyeliners. They're so good. I have the shade Boss here, which is a black. So I just put it like a tight line under my lash, lashes, or upper lashes, and on my waterline. And then you have a little sponge that you can use if you want to uh, smoke it out a bit, you know? Or smudge it. I love that. They have a metallic brown that I've been using lots too, that is called Bonus. You have uh, Bees that is like a nice navy blue. Uh, I have one in my purse. Uh, I think it's CEO and it's like a, a nice matte brown. But they're so nice. I like the packaging. They stay put. They're pigmented. Love, love, love that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. With my favorite eyelash curler. I need to clean it, so I'm just gonna make sure. Usually I don't use a cotton, it's not the greatest because of the little fibers you can get in your eyes. So I'm thinking I'm getting my uh, lashes like curled. Did you do that? Like, what are your thoughts on it? Was it worth it? Or let me know down below because I'm thinking of doing this. For mascara, so, so I'm gonna use my Mini school, I'm like, I can't believe I paid for that. Like, this should be a reward thing. <laughs> uh, that's the Ilia, how do they call that? It's so small, After Midnight, I believe, something like that, a uh, mascara. And it has a very cool, like, little calm wand. And it does a, a good job for my lashes, and it stays put. And it's a clean, part of a clean beauty line uh, that Sephora sells, so I was curious. And I, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been liking this so far. I've been loving my Kush mascara. I've been loving the Pat McGrath one. But, well, why not showing you something I like and that is kind of new to me. It does a great job at separating the lashes. It doesn't get like clumpy. 
Okay, eyes are done. And now, well, it's the lips. I've been loving the formula of these Sephora lipsticks. This is the shade Not Your Baby. And I think this is such a pretty formula. The colors are great. All the nudes are very, very pretty. And um, it looks great on your lips, even if your lips are chapped. I need to drink more. So I have some of these in my purse <laughs> uh, at all time. But yeah, okay. So this is the final look with some of the products that I've been loving this past few months. Let's say it's not only May. Healthy, glowy skin, you know, something easy on the eyes but with a little bit of black just to, you know, make it like pop a little bit more. Uh, love the lips. And then for setting mist, well, I've been loving the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. It's just, to be honest, the smell. Oh, it smells so good. So now I'm gonna talk about products that I am not using on camera today, but I've been using it before or I might do later on. I love the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. Like, this is so nice. The Shiseido uh, facial cottons are so good, so good. I started to use them maybe two years ago and uh, I know Quo does something very similar but it's not the same. They're so nice. So I use a cotton pad, I pour some on it and then I just apply it onto my face and it's, it feels like really tightening but refreshing at the same time. It's really, really nice. Let's grab my little basket here. Oh. See, I try to be organized. <laughs> I love the Brio Geo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Biotin Dry Shampoo. This is so nice because it doesn't uh, dispense too much at one spot, you know, and then you, it's kind of like difficult to uh, get rid of it. This distributes the perfect amount, so you just have to turn it, then you have the hole, and then you just pinch. I can pinch here. Not sure if you're gonna see it. But it just, it's so fine. I've been loving this. I really like Brio Geo for hair products. What else do I have for hair? I have the Deva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. So this, as you may know, I have curly hair. And, you know, living in Alberta, it's quite dry here. So I don't get the best bouncy curls. And one of my friends, Michu, Hi. She recommended this one to me because I bought the cream, like the styling cream from that brand. It's really nice too. It smells like coconut. It's so good. But I have the best results with this one. I showed you on a video like two or three videos ago. The best way to use it is like on dump hair. Rinse your hair, let it down, barely squeeze it, you know, keep the water and then you apply the gel and then either you use a little uh, something, a hair clip like to hold it up or uh, you wrap it in a microfiber towel, leave it on, and it gives you the most defined curls. It's so nice. I've been loving this. And if it might leave a little cast, you just have to scrunch it a tiny bit and you're good to go. So this I've been loving. Another product for hair is the Kerastase Elixir Ultime Huile Originale. This is so good, guys. I used it today, actually. My hair was not like super, like it was a bit greasy. Sorry, <laughs> it sounds gross. But I worked out yesterday and then I didn't have time to wash my hair. Uh, so I used a little bit of that dry shampoo today. And I used this on the end. After using something that is revolutionary and it's cheap compared to what you can find on the market nowadays, I've been using the Revlon. I need to, I'll put like the right name of that, that brush. It's a hair blow drying brush. It's so good. I bought this on Amazon after my one of my sister-in-law, Bita. Thank you. Uh, she recommended this to me. And well, because we're both curly, you know, I was a bit skeptical because I have curly hair and I tried something before like a Foxy Bay brush and it was okay, not great. This... I dry my hair in like 20 minutes. It beats my Dyson air blow dryer. Like I've, I haven't been using my air blow dryer 
since I got this. It leaves your hair super smooth. I used it again this morning because I woke up with uh, curly hair. I didn't put it in a bun last night. Woke up with curly hair and this leaves your hair like so smooth. It's so nice. And then I use a little bit of my Kerastase oil. So let me know if you want me to do a dedicated video about this one. I have a link too for this little guy, but this is so nice. And it was $60, something like that, $66 or $60, I can't remember. But when you compare with Dyson prices, it's, it's, it's so good. So, so good. It will change your life, whether you have curly hair or not. It, it will give like a nice volume because it's nice and oval, you know. And basically, it dries your hair. At the same time, it brushes it. So, yeah. I, I like it because it has a little bit of a plastic bristles and a little bit of, um, I don't know if you call that wild boar style bristles. I will link the info down below and my link on Amazon. But I would not recommend this guy if uh, I did not love it. Love this thing. I might just do a thing like where I get ready with you and do my hair with you. It's just a bit tricky because the bathroom, I don't know, to place my camera is a bit tricky. I'll find a way maybe. For my nighttime skincare routine, I bought two things during the VIB sales and they're both from Algenist and I am in love. I bought the Genius Liquid Collagen. This I apply like one, one pump of it every night, sometimes during the day too, but mostly before my night cream. And I've been waking up with like a nice plump skin, like it's expensive. Yes, I'm happy I bought this during the sales. Uh, I think they have a little set where you can try a bunch of products. So nice. Now the packaging, I heard it's not great. I don't have an issue yet, but I, I heard when you hit the bottom, like it's a bit hard to get the product out. I'm not sure. I'm not there yet. I'll let you know, but this is beautiful. Combined with the Genius Sleeping Collagen Night Cream. This one smells so good it's so pleasant to put on like the texture is it, it's so nice it melts onto your skin just the smell everything and it leaves your skin so soft and bouncy the next morning i combine these with uh, my actually my vitamin c serum vitamin c serum first then the collagen then this and i've been loving my skin and my skin has been loving me so yeah, the last item, oh, I have a perfume I want to show you too. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to put that down. The last item is from Fresh, and that is the Sugar Roll-On Deodorant Antiperspirant. This is so good. Uh, it smells, so if you smell it in the store, sometimes it stinks. Like I, I, I smelled it before there and it was kind of brutal. I was like, ooh, I don't know if I'm going to like that. It smells like kind of bitter. It smells like lemons. Lemons with a little bit of like a lemon sorbet. It smells like that and it works Great. Yeah, it's so good and it is infused with the iconic scent of fresh sugar I have been loving it now. I know it's not 100% natural. There's a little bit of aluminum in it Just do your research if you have sensitive skin, but overall this is a great great deodorant I love this one all right and then well i'm gonna recommend a perfume i love perfumes uh and this one is from ralph lauren and this is woman or women ah, there's no name on the bottle anyway uh i will put the description of the scent right here uh, but it smells so good i love the bottle like it's so luxurious and i've been using it quite a bit but it doesn't go down fast that is my last recommendation for this spring favorites, I would say. Spring slash May, whatever you want to call it, favorites video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. I post lots of looks and little uh, polls on my Insta stories. And yeah, let me know what you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one and I will see you in the next video.